Monday morning. Lorry traffic back on the road after the weekend curfew and our longest day on the outward journey. The campanile at La Rochelle was as we expected, other than the restaurant was not open this particular weekend. Never mind, we enjoyed some very nice meals, one of which was just across the road at a restaurant come pizzeria. On leaving the hotel, it was just a very short distance to get onto the N137, which was in effect the La Rochelle bypass. Quite a lot of traffic as it was the end of the Monday morning rush hour. The road now becomes the D137 and is built to autoroute standards. In fact, it is known as the Autoroute de Oiseau. Just before Rochefort, the D137 changes its title once more, this time to the full-blown autoroute, the A837. The Gare de Péage de Cabario is our first péage of the day. We leave the A837 and join the A10 in the direction of Bordeaux. Saints is a popular tourist destination being situated on the banks of the River Charente. The air at saint Leger is today's breakfast stop. Unfortunately, we have hit a snag with taking the video whilst powering the camera from the car. If the driver, she shall of course remain nameless, turns the ignition off before I have stopped videoing, 
the camera sort of loses its marbles and deletes the previous minute or more from the memory. So, we're sorry for the missing bits. Didn't find out about this till we got home and ran the video, of course. This payage is the last we shall see until we get on to the A63 approaching Bayonne. Suddenly, a traffic jam, and we are still some distance from Bordeaux. Goodness knows how far this jam exists, or even what is causing it.
we had been expecting to keep going straight ahead and around the west of Bordeaux, but suddenly Marianne announces that we should leave the A10 at the next junction. So get to the inside lane. Marianne suggests that we spent about 40 minutes in the queue. We passed Bordeaux on the N230, which is to the east. We leave Bordeaux on the A63 in the direction of Bayonne and the Spanish border. The journey south will now be quite devoid of much habitation other than a few small towns until we get to the Bayonne area. The A63 now reverts to a national road, the N10 at Junction 20.
heirs to service are very few and far between on this section of the N10 and we intend to stop for the midday break at the Air de Suque. However, on arriving there we found that it had changed its name to the Air de Lucien West. The services were a disappointment to say the least, so we decided to buy some sandwiches and go on to the next suitable Air de Repos and eat our lunch there. Back to being an auto route. Once again, the A63 at Junction 9. We stop for lunch at the Air de Sobion, which turned out to be very pleasant, with picnic tables set out amongst the trees. The Gare de Péage de Bénès Marème is the first occasion we have been on a toll section since well north of Bordeaux. It will be toll road now until near the border with Spain. We cross the river Adur just to the east of Bayonne. Just before the border with Spain, we encounter our final guard payage on French soil on the outward journey.
the Franco-Spanish border near Henday. Our first payage in Spain. Near to Atso Bacar, we leave the Autopista del Cantabrico and turn south onto the N1 or A1, what have you, the Autovia del Norte. The A15 leaves the A1 near Andoain and heads over the foothills of the Pyrenees towards Pamplona. There are numerous tunnels and breathtaking views on this part of the journey. We stop for our afternoon break at, well, don't ask me to attempt to pronounce it, truly a Basque name. The bar, etc., was just like I remember these sorts of places back in the 60s when I first came to this part of Spain. When the A10 joins the A15, the road name becomes the AP15, the Autopista de Navarra. This is a clue that sometimes soon we will encounter a payage.
this payage is isolated. No ticket, we just pay up a few euros and on towards Pamplona. Nearing Pamplona, the A15 branches southwards and becomes the Ronda de Pamplona, in other words, the Pamplona Ring Road. On leaving the Pamplona area, the A15 once again becomes the AP15, the Autopista de Navarra. We are well and truly on the last leg of today's journey. Travelling through Navarra, the only habitation of any consequence we pass is Tabala. Now we are in Spain, the San F Gizmo no longer works, so it is a case of picking up ticket or paying at the payage booth. The Rio Ebro is crossed via a rather impressive cable stayed bridge. We leave the AP 15 at junction 6 and head for Tudela on the A68, the Autovia del Ebro. Not far to go now.
The hotel bed for you, Tudela, is located on an industrial estate just a couple of kilometres south of the town. Not a very inspiring location, but just wait until you enter. This has to be one of the best, if not the best, hotel we have ever stayed in. A four-star hotel for a two-star price. The owner-manager was very proud of his awards from TripAdvisor, and quite rightly so. A long day, made even longer by the traffic jam at Bordeaux, but very enjoyable with some wonderful scenery thrown in on the way through the Pyrenees foothills.